Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, one more concept in Python, that is how to print the text in a different colors. So colored text, how can we print the colored text in Python? And this can be done with the help of uh, two modules. Uh, one is Colorama and another one is term color. Right. So, first of all, we have to import this colorama and the term color. So, these are the two different ways, right? How can uh, to print the text in different colors? So, first, let us see about this colorama. So, first, we have to import import this colorama module. So, if this module is not available, first install install this one. So, by using the pip command, so pip install the module name so this we have already discussed in the previous sessions right so once it was completely installed then import this colorama and this colorama will be having the three uh, attributes called a foreground foreground background background and style and this foreground is represented as F O R E. F is a capital. Background is represented as back with a B capital. And style is represented as style with a S capital. And here we are supposed to give the colors. So foreground color, background color. So foreground color means the text color. The text color. Background color is highlighting color. Highlight text highlight and style is nothing but uh, to display the text in a dim or a brightness or a normal way right so this color a colors can be there are a few few colors we can represent the text so those colors should be in a capital letters right that is most important so black blue green etc so all these colors should be represented with a capital letter in this colorama module so then simply you can write so print function to print the text so here give the string so which you want to display on the screen so for this string first we need to give the foreground color background color and the style so give this one four dot color name in a capital letters plus so we have to concatenate all these things back back dot color name with a capital letters plus style dot the style so the styles are also in a capital letters this can be dim bright bright normal so i'll, I'll demonstrate each and everything by executing a program so before that I am just giving the syntax. So first a foreground color, give the foreground color if any, plus background color if any, plus style you want to implement and plus give the string you want to display on the screen. So automatically the foreground color, background color as well as style will be applied to this particular string which we are going to display on the screen. Right? So if you want to apply blue, it should be written as four dot blue. So F should be capital and as I've said that everything is in a capital. The color should be represented in a capital. Similarly, style. Style dot, if you want to uh, display the uh, string with a brightness, so give style dot bright. Style dot bright. Similarly, background. So if you want to change the background color, back dot green. So green should be in a capital letter, right? So this you have to include in this print, print statement, right? So this is how we can display the text in a different colors using this colorama module. Now, another way to display the text in a color by using the term color. So let us see how the term color can be implemented. 
So this is also similar to our Colorama. First we have to install this term, term color. Right? So first of all install by using the command pip install pip install term color and here this term color is having two functions or two classes one is colored colored class another one is cprint function cprint class so in this we have to give the three things one is text color a text color next one text highlightner text highlightner and the next one attributes so the text color here will be represented in a lowercase characters so like blue green yellow etc so everything will be represented in lowercase characters similarly the highlightner will be represented as on underscore the color name on blue on underscore green on underscore yellow etc right so that means this is a highlighter right that means a background color background color this is a foreground color and the attributes can be a bold dark underline reverse so these are the few uh, attributes we can apply on the string so we can use a two different classes to display the text in a different colors first let us see the syntax of uh, colored so the syntax is colored of uh, here give the string first give the string and so which we want to display on the screen after the string give the text color text color after that text highlightner text highlightner and then give the last one called attributes a t t r s is equal to open the square braces and give the attributes one by one so if you want to apply more than one attribute use a separated comma separated attributes bold comma dark like this right so that means this particular text color will be applied to this string with a text highlightner with these particular attributes so this can be implemented so that the string will be displayed with a different colors and different attributes applied with a different colors and different attributes and one more is a c print c print so c print class is also similar to our color so here also you have to pass the string so one thing you remember everything should be enclosed in a curly braces so string should be enclosed in curly braces the text color should be enclosed in a curly braces highlightner should be enclosed in a curly braces and if required the attributes must be uh, represented with attrs keyword so attrs is equal to give the attributes which we want to display on the string so string a comma again the same thing the text color and then the text highlightner text highlightner and give the attributes attrs is equal to uh, give the attributes specify the attributes with a comma separated inside the square braces so that that at those attributes and the text highlighter and the text color will be applied to this particular string so these are the two different ways we can print the text in different colors in python so two two modules so that is a colorama and the term color so by using these two things we can display the text in a different different uh, colors right so let us move on to the interpreter i'll demonstrate each and every method the colored method cprint method and uh, this colorama module and term color module so by executing a small program so that we can see how the text color and highlighter and uh, these attributes can be applied to the text so let's move on to the interpreter hello friends so just now we have seen two modules to print the text in a different colors so first we will see the colorama module so first we have to import the colorama so let us see yes so already it was installed in my system otherwise so simply use the pip command so pip install so colorama so that it will be installed so once it got, it, it was successfully installed then import the 
color amount. See requirements already satisfied. So now I will import the color amount module. And now, so we are having the different attributes. So we are we have I mean we have to import those attributes like for back and style. So I will go with the from color amount import the attributes for back style right so for is for representing the foreground back is to represent the background and style to represent some styles right now you can apply the print function print so give this uh, give the foreground color so for dot the color names will be in a capital letters just now we have discussed so I, i'll give a blue as a foreground color and we have to give the highlighter if required so background color uh, i just want to give it as uh, a red plus so that string you need to apply so i'll i'll apply the string so python programming right so let us execute this one so you can observe here the background color is red and foreground is blue so let us ch change it to yellow see background color red and uh, foreground color is yellow and also if i want to apply the style so see yes capital letter style dot i just want to display the text in a bright right so you can observe so some sort of difference is applied right so the complete the data i mean the the string is in a bright bright or simply you can use a dim dim color so this is a dim and normal normal so this is a normal right normal and you can also change the colors so foreground I, I will change it is a green so you can see background color red and the foreground color green and if you apply here blue so background color blue and foreground color is green right and one thing we have to remember we have to represent the colors by using the three attributes for back and style and the color names should be in a capital letters so if you give here a small letters so we'll get an error, attribute error because it doesn't have this particular green, right? So everything should be in a capital letters, capital letters, right? So white. So background color is a blue and foreground color is white. So we have to give all the things what we want to apply on the string in this particular print function itself. So this is the use of a color amount. So the one way to print the text in different colors. Another one is with a term color. So for that, uh, remember, so first we have to import the sys module. We have to import the system module and then import term color, term color. And in the term color, we are going to use a two classes. So those are color, colored and cprint. So we can import them directly from term color, import colored comma c print by using either one either one uh, class we can uh, display the text in different colors so first one let us take the colored so text is equal to colored function colored function and here uh, you need to pass everything in a double quotation first string so give the string python programming python programming and then the second one is a text color so directly we can give the color and here the colors will be in a lower case right so text color i will give here so blue so lower case letters blue and the third one is a highlighter highlighter is represented with the on underscore color name so on underscore green and the next one so first let us implement this one so we have to print the text sorry we have to print the text see we got a background green and a foreground blue so on green the text will be printed with the blue on green the text will be printed with the blue and also we can have so first let us uh, write down here so let us take white see green and white and here also we can apply the attributes called attrs is equal to use a double quote i mean square braces inside the square braces we can give the bold followed by any anything so only bold if you want to display the text in a bold see sorry yeah so it should be enclosed in single quotations yeah you can observe bold 
So if you are not using this one, see in the absence of this one, see it was normal. And in presence of this bold, there is a slight change. Similarly, if you want to get underline, so use an underline. So the text will be in a underline format. See underline. Similarly, if you want to use a dark, see dark, the text will be in a dark. And if you if you are using one more that is a reverse, reverse. So this text highlighter and the text color will be swapped. That means now it was a white foreground and green background. If you use this attribute as a reverse, the foreground will be green and background will be white. You can observe. See white and green, green text on white background. So in the absence of this one, you can see on green that means a background green foreground is white so you can see let us take yellow see so if you are using this attribute as reverse yellow background background with a green text will get so that is the use of a reverse attribute reverse attribute so here the colored class will be taking a different parameters first one is a string which we want to display and the second one is a text color and the third one is a highlighter that is a background color and the fourth one is a different styles we can apply that that is that will be done with the help of attribute so this is one way to print the text in a color and one more thing that is with c print the same thing so we can apply the same thing in a c print class instead of going with the colored use the c print execute so that again we'll get the same thing see so i'll take some blue as a foreground and uh, yeah cyan or simply we can go with a red see blue on red so i uh, give given this attribute so i'll, I'll execute so red background with a blue text red background with a blue text so instead of using this colored function or colored class we are going to use this cprint function right so these are the two different ways by using this term color module term color module right so we can display the text in different colors by using these two different modules so in the similar way so hope you understood this one and if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, uh, concept feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much